cancer <laughs> tell me what the answer is baby let me know what to do boo what is going on baby it is scorpion red several i am back at it again with the remix we're gonna find out what is going on for you guys mid-month june the 15th through the 30th shout out to all my cancers that is celebrating their birthday in the month of june shout out to all of you much love much love much love all right if any one of you lovely 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 people who have clicked this video thank you so much for the support number one if you guys would like to book a personal or private reading with scorpion reds tarot only thing you you got to do is click that about tab all of my links everything that you need is there shout out to everyone who's been sending love and light through the amazon wish list and through paypal i keep wanting to get patreon and paypal mixed up shout out to all my new subscribers and my members over there in the collector gatherers group at, at on patreon I will be over there right after the monthlies next week on my off week. We will be over there, be doing live readings. Um, you guys will be getting all of your your sex secrets and scandal reading. Your um, oh my goodness, what's my other reading that I be having over there on the four ninety nine tier? There's a one ninety nine tier. There's a four ninety nine tier. The one ninety nine tier is the one for uh private readings and we will be doing live chats over there about subjects coming out in the collective readings the 4.99 tier is for the sexually explicit content thank you guys so much like i said for sending love and light through the amazon wish list and through paypal because you guys make it possible for everything that i'm doing right now also check out um i have some merch from teespring in the about tab too you'll have links to that as well as you can see we have a new deck here that is a little sexually explicit baby so we can't be doing all of that we gotta take that on over back in the layer look at that that look like a cancer don't it mm, look at her cancer what's the answer what she was doing with her girl what you was doing okay let me stop mm -mm. Y'all nasty, y'all little dirty whore, y'all little nasty, freaking nasty man here. Oh, 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 oh. oh, trust me, I know me a cancer. Oh, y'all nasty. Oh, and I love it. Anyway, let me stop it. Behave, Scorp. Behave. Oh, behave. Listen. So we be over back in the lab, okay? So on the four ninety nine tier, that's where we be having the conversations with the sexually explicit content. And then there, I haven't started it yet because this retrograde is hitting my ass early, apparently, because all of my electronics have been breaking before my very eyes. So I have to get another Bluetooth speaker. Um, but you know. That'll be happening very soon. So the difference between the 199 tier and the 499 tier. The 199 tier, I will be picking um messages out of the live chat and just be doing quick readings like that. The difference between uh the membership quick readings and the personal readings. The personal reading is when I'm using all of these decks right here, giving you a way deeper in depth. Basically, what I'm doing right here for the monthly, I'll be doing that for you on a personal level. Now, on the monthly membership, you will be getting a personal reading, but it'll be shorter. It's like a 10 to 15 minute personal reading, and it'll be in the privacy of us being back in the collector gatherer layer. It ain't going to be all your business all out in the YouTube streets. You feel what I'm saying? So, um, and the difference between the $199 and the $499 is once I get my speaker and everything together, you guys are going to be able to call me and speak to me on the chat line and I'm going to be able to speak to you instead of me just picking up your energy off of the, you know, interwebs. I'm going to be able to speak to you and we're going to be able to have our 10 to 15 minute quick reading and then I'm going to go to the next caller and things like that. So we're moving up and beyond. So, you know, shout out to everybody that's been over at Patreon. We already did the one free... Um, the one um live reading session and then after we get our personals out next week want to be back over there with all of that love and light i'm gonna try to do two live sessions over there so yeah y'all just stay tuned for that and thank you guys so much for all the subscribing and um you know you guys spreading the love and light back to what i was originally trying to tell y'all how to book if you guys want to book a personal or private reading what you need to do is click that about tab there's a hyperlink there that says scorpion red tarot at simply book me again it says scorpion red tarot at simply book me okay now if um you 
do not want to do the live video reading with me, the way you connect with me is you use my Instagram link that's directly under the booking link. After you book your reading, send me a message and say, hey, Reds, this is so-and-so. I booked with you on this and that a day, you know, so I can know that that's you. And we can connect it and um, do the live reading. If I could fit you in early, I'm going to fit you in earlier. If you do not have Instagram, I prefer not to use Instagram. I always use Google Hangouts as well. And you don't need, we don't need to exchange phone numbers. Only thing you need is my email, which is scorpionreds at gmail.com. So you can easily download that app. It's free. And use my email. Again, scorpionreds at gmail.com. Send me a message and it will link up there for your reading. If you do not want to do a face-to-face -face live video chat reading, you do have the option in the menu to purchase a video reclap slash private upload. You can use that add-on for if you want me to do a video recording of our live session if you are doing a face-to-face -face reading i will record it just like i'm recording this and i will do a private upload link to youtube so that you can watch it back at you know at your leisure whenever because that video is yours you know if you do not want to get on camera and you just want a private upload you just want to send me your question pertaining to the reading that you purchased you can purchase this add-on and use it for that too. So you can use it for the recap or you can just use it for a direct private upload. Just keep in mind if you're not going to get on camera with me, only send me the question that you want to know. Don't tell me the information pertaining why you're asking a question because I want to go into the situation blind and see what, you know, spirit says. And then we'll go from there, okay? So in about 24 to 48 hours from your purchase, um, of me acknowledging your purchase, um, you will... Uh, have your video sent back to your video link sent back to you or whatever. So, um, shout out to everyone who's been booking. I want to acknowledge everyone that's been, you know, sending decks in. Again, we got this numerology deck that's a recent deck that I received. Shout out to my baby girl, Kylie. We also have the Zen Tarot deck, which this is brand new. And we will be using this today. Um, we also have this... Lenormand deck. This is, I think this just came out too. This is the Hill and Light Lenormand deck. This just came out. So, shout out to 31 Shadows for that because I was an exclusive love and I ain't even expect that. So, listen, I appreciate everything. Um, we also shout out to my baby girl Amanda sending love to the PayPal, which helped me purchase this deck, which is the Love Oracle deck. Yes, yes, yes. And you already know I'm dropping some tea today in y'all's reading, so you know we're going to get down to the dust, honey. We're going to get down to it. We're going to get down to it. So, shout out to everyone that's been sending love and light and supporting the page by sending um, these wonderful decks. And, um, these are the other two decks that I received as well. But I use these over on the Patreon. Like I said, I use these babies over on the Patreon. So, shout out to everyone that's been sending all of that love here. Because it's been pushing me. I've also been studying the Lenormand now. And I'm also going to be getting into studying Cardamancy. So, y'all might be seeing me reading with playing cards and stuff like that. So, enough of my jibber jabber. Let's get into the prayer. Father God, thank you so much for all the love and light that you've been sending to the sign of cancer. Please give us the answers that we're speaking for, Father God, because you know we are always searching for the answers to love, light, and better things and enjoyment and prosperity in life, Father God, because Lord knows we just want to be happy, Father. We just want to be happy. Our birthday is coming up. Hey, it's our birthday. Hey, Cancer, it's your birthday. Go, Cancer, it's your birthday. Hey, Cancer, what is the answer? What are we about to do this summer, baby? What are they about to do with you, baby? Listen, Father God, please give us the answers that we search for. Thank you so much again for all of the prosperity, the love, and light, and the abundance, Father God. We are literally shining like a shining star, Father God. We are taking control of everything that got our name on it, Father God. We are taking everything that is ours, and we are doing the right things with it, Father God. Thank you so much for all your blessing, light. Thank you for your love that you send to us on a daily basis, Father God, because Lord knows we need it, and Lord knows we receive it. Please Please give us guidance. Um, thank you so much for all the blessings and lessons in the past, present, and future. Please give the sign of cancer guidance for June the 15th through the 30th. Thank you again for all your abundant light. Please give us guidance. Thank you again. I'm sorry, you guys, that the intro and we, all that, the house announcements be so long. But as I'm growing, you know, shoot. Look, I just added the Patreon. I just got some of Pearl. Like, 
we just growing over here like y'all pushing me y'all like I, we want these t-shirts so y'all will be having some cancer gang gang shirts yes be saying cancer what's the answer cancer gang 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 we will be having some zodiac tees coming we got a lot of stuff coming y'all so just bear with me sooner or later everybody will be hip and they'll know what the tea is and I ain't gotta be doing the rundown like that. Ooh, love. Ooh, come on, Kate. Yes. Ooh. I like it like that. I like it like that. I like it like that. I guess so. I guess so. Hold on. Hey, baby. Kansa. I like it like that. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, and y'all know cancer love a happy ending. Ooh. Y'all nasty. Y'all freaky. Y'all dirty. And I love it. Who you giving a happy ending to? I hope it's me. Because y'all be real nasty. And I like it. And I love it. And I'm going to stop whispering because I'm telling y'all all my secrets. All right. I'm going to go back to regular schedule programming now. All right. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Who is getting the long loving? Who getting the long cocky? Melin says she wants the long cocky. Who is getting the cancer long cocky? Come tell me. Come, come tell me now. My goodness. I'm listening to me. Y'all got me acting up. Act up. You gonna get snatched up. Hold on. Act up. You gonna get snatched up. Act up. You gonna get snatched up. Dirty ass bitch. <laughs> Listen, let me try to tell y'all something. Cancer is in love. And they having that happy ending or something. Whatever the fuck is ending in their life, they happy in a bit. Echo, you gonna get smashed up. <laughs> Ooh, the tower. <laughs> cancer said, I'm out to avoid this disaster at all. Like, Cancer, were you spared? <laughs> Cancer said, I love myself. Do, 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 do. I love myself. Do, 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 do. I love myself. Cancer said, I love myself too much. Bitch, act up. You're going to get smacked up. Look. Get the... <laughs> Listen. Cancer done. Uh, hold on. In the bit of, in the background, is it the song? Ain't on ya. Ain't on ya. <laughs> Ain't none of your business. Who you telling ain't, ain't ain't none of your business? What? Oh my God, Cancer, okay, so you telling me it ain't none of my business? I hope you ain't telling me. I wanna see. I wanna know. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, say so ain't none of your business. You don't know who I'm with. Yo, okay, I'm sorry I had to listen to that song. Did y'all hear that song? It said, ain't none of your business. Who I'm with? That's Kalani. If y'all have never heard that song, ain't none of your business, go and listen to that song, ain't none of your business, Kalani. Hey, I'm about to write this down because this is about to be the title for this because I already see where it's going, brother. Hold on. I can't forget this. Hold on. I'm sorry, y'all probably gonna be like, this is the worst feeding ever. <laughs> Listen to me. Like, I'm sorry I had to write that down because I just could not forget what I was feeling right now. I really do feel like this song has a very pertinent reason for being in the background. Because it's a happy ending for cancer. Cancer is ending something with somebody and they're saying it ain't none of your business who I'm with. It ain't none of your business who I'm with. I avoided this disaster with you. Like, you know, like had I known from the day that I met you that it was going to be like this, I'd have never even batted an eye at you, motherfucker. And it's dead. Listen, had I known this shit would have been dead on arrival, like, please. Oh, my God. I just... Cancer could not stop comparing you to somebody. You know what I'm saying? It was like... Had they had known what they know now, they would have completely avoided you because 
it's like comparing apples to oranges or something. This is a bamboo stick versus just a regular oak tree. You know what I'm saying? It's to a uh, horse of a whole totally different color. And I feel like Cancer was looking for something a little bit sturdy. You know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, it was like they were trying to compare bamboo to an oak tree. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Each one serves a different purpose. And Cancer was dealing with someone. Even though they tried to find happiness in it. And I think Cancer knew going into it that it wasn't it that this person or whatever it was it wasn't what they were looking for or it wasn't what it was that they were comparing it to cuz like cancer is comparing people to something and something in their mind this gray represents the mind conflict of the mind you know five of swords that represents someone like Cancer tried to trick their self to believe I wanted a bamboo stick because you could do so many things with a bamboo stick. I need something sturdy, something stable that, you know, if I wanted to lean on it, it could hold me up. But if I wanted to swing it around, you know what I'm saying? I could protect myself and that bitch ain't going to break. I could crack, crack a bitch in his face. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, what can I do? Holding on and hugging up to an oak tree, like, <laughs> like I can't uproot the oak tree and like I. And the only thing I could do is chop it down for some wood. You know, I don't know. Like, it's just I feel like cancer with that five of swords right here in this comparison. Like they fucked themselves over by trying to compare a bamboo stick to an oak tree when they wanted a bamboo stick. They were looking for a bamboo stick. You understand? <laughs> I need to figure out why Cancer is trying to figure out who to create. It, it's like this the creator card. And then releasing this experience. You see, like they're not hugging on this tree no more. Damn, that's fucked up, bro. And then it's like the tree, and it's like they wanted. A, and how did, I? I didn't even look over here to even realize that the cancer wanted the bamboo stick over the oak tree. But you see how I, cancer tricked itself into believing that the oak tree would satisfy them. Do you understand what I'm saying? And they tried to hug onto this oak tree and stand right there next to the oak tree and be one with the oak tree. But cancer likes movement. Cancer doesn't like to be bound and stagnant. Like they wanted something that could move with them, something that could grow with them, something that was sturdy, something that was able to have many uses. Like they don't just want to stand there and smoke a J and hug a, 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 a oak tree like a fucking hippie. Like it was a cool experience, but Cancer knew going into this situation that they did not, that what they were experiencing was something where. They could grow and move about. They didn't. I don't think that they really realized what they were creating. You know what I'm saying? And I think that they are realizing now that they are the creator of their own happiness. Because you try to trick yourself and you try to believe your own illusion that you were satisfied with something that you know that you don't like. You know what I'm saying? Cancer does not like to be just stagnant. I mean, cancer likes to feel into being passionate and in love and everything like that. But they're completely up, unrooting themselves from this situation. And they're leaving something behind because they don't enjoy the experience no more. Because cancer wants to be free. They want a piece of wood or they want stability. But they want freedom. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like they want a Roman stick. They want something they can build with. I mean, you could build stuff with an oak tree too, but it's something about like has anybody tried to like I don't even think you can burn bamboo. You can't burn bamboo, right? If you put fire to it, it doesn't burn, right? It just turns into like a hard ass piece of fucking like coal or something, right? It's something about this bamboo. It's something about this bamboo. 
it, it being able to withstand fire or and movement. Like that's just what I'm getting. Like that's what I'm getting. Cancer avoided this. It was something. It's like it's something very bad happening right now. That's the only thing I know. And it's like, and then this crotch is on fire. What the fuck? Fire crotch. It's like someone's crotch is on fire. I hope ain't nobody burning. Do y'all see this? You see this person's crotch is on fire. Like they were dealing with a fucking fire crotch. Like someone that was just like it was a fucking disaster. You see, like it's like people falling out of the pussy or something like that. Like, I'm sorry, like. Why am I getting this? God, please give me some guidance, y'all, because y'all gonna think I'm crazy. I think I'm crazy right now, because I'm like, make this make sense to me. In this, the creator in the reverse, like, that is giving me some problems. That is giving me anxiety, bruh. What in thine fuck are y'all talking about right here, sir? But it's like, they're moving on. Cancer, regardless, cancer is moving on. They're not hugging that tree no more. They never wanted a fucking oak tree. They wanted bamboo. They wanted some bamboo sheets. <laughs> they wanted something they could twist up and smoke out. You know what I'm saying? They wanted something to smoke. You understand? Know they wanted more fire. More fire. They ain't want no goddamn backwoods. Look, they wanted bamboo sheets. They don't smoke woods. Like, they smoke. They was fucking with a bitch that smoked backwoods. And you like, bitch, I don't need, I, ain't need, I don't smoke woods. I'm all sheets and funnel all day. Uptown, what's up, all oh, my DMV? What's up, DC? What? Like, nah, son, we don't smoke no woods around here. Sheets and funnel. Hey, I need and want you. Shout out to my baby, Pinky Killer Corn. Hey. What is this? The child. It's the child. It's the child in the situation. The king, of, the king of jacks here. I mean, the um, the king of jacks. The jack of spades. The jack of spades is someone that's just immature. The birds. I definitely feel like this is like, you know, flying away. This is flying away, but this is also like some form of communication, I do feel. Something that has to do with a child and just like a lack of responsibility. The jack of the jack of spades is like an irresponsible man, young minded. The ring. So we're gonna get into we gonna we're gonna get into this Carter Man Secret. Where the fuck my phone go? In the name. In the name. Hold on now. Come on now. And we doing too much. Okay, boom. Because I just want you guys to understand. Because we got to go deep with this one. So y'all going to see me pulling my phone out. But y'all going to understand why in the second. Okay? Y'all going to understand why in the second. So let's get into this real quick. Okay? So number one. I just want to clarify this child. Okay? And this jack of spades. Okay? This jack of spades here. Jack of spades. Yes. A skillful, clever young person, most often a male, a soldier, a cadet, a police officer, a young man, a foreign country, a young leader, may be unsettled, erratic, emotionally inconsistent, a youth in trouble, a bully, a gang member, a juvenile delinquent, cold, calculated, emotionally controlled, detached, a liar, a spy, can represent dark thoughts or thoughts of a king or queen of spades. So... I was thinking about the um the jack of clubs. But still like this is someone that is someone erratic. I don't I and, and, and I still don't feel like this is someone that is mature enough to handle the responsibility of this child. I, I honestly do feel like that. For whatever this situation may may have to deal with, I feel like 
this person shouldn't be operating on the level of a jack of spades. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, this person is someone that is way more older than a jack of spades. It should be carrying itself older than a jack of spades here. All right? And I want to just clarify the, the child here, okay? I want to clarify the child. And again, the child represents a fresh start, new things, something small. A child or children, immature, youthful, young, innocent, petite, playful, irresistible, fun. You know, so it's something. Okay. And then the birds. The birds represent verbal communication, phone calls, older couple, twins, small problems. Several short messages, negotiations, siblings, hectic, a meeting, interview, chowder, chatter, restlessness. Then the ring, you already know what the damn ring means, honey. You already know what the ring means. That means somebody getting locked down, honey. Locked down, locked down. Commitments, contracts, marriage, agreements, going around in circles, jewelry, predictable. Okay? So, what I'm getting here. What I'm getting here. And I just want to also check into that ace. I mean that seven of diamonds. Because I feel like that's really important for me to look that up as well. I feel like that is very important for me to look up. Financial achievements. Reward and recognition. Earn success. Steady improvements. Efforts. Rewards. Luck. Money wins. Pay raises. Improvements. Prospects. Nest egg. Financial improvements. Stocks. Bonds. And e-trading. Okay, so what I'm getting here, I do feel like with this stuff up here, in that creator in the reverse, I have to know what the fuck that means. Please tell me what that means. I need to know right now. Please tell me what this creator in the reverse means because then I'll be able to understand this more because I know what I want to say but I don't want to say it like I really don't want to say this I do want to say this I don't want to say this excuse me but if what comes out what I think is about to come out then I'm, I'm gonna have to just address it how it is but that creator in reverse the experience in the reverse this person not understanding All right, Spirit, please. One more shuffle. One more shuffle. Please clarify to me the creator of the experience, the thunderbolt in reverse, the comparison, the child, the bird, and the ring. Love and happy ending. What is this? The knight of swords in reverse, dear Lord Jesus. It's some angry communication, man. It's some... It's not good verbal communication. It's not. It's not. World cycle completion. It's an ending. Clarify this creator, this creator for me. The three of pentacles. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is separation. There's most definite. And, 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 and. Uh, clarify the creator in reverse, please, for me. So I can understand why this creator is in the reverse. Please clarify the creator in the reverse for cancer. The nine of swords, self-sabotage, nightmares. Self-sabotage. Another nine, trials and tribulations. Nine of wands. I feel like something else fell out. Cancer, y'all always do this to me. Y'all readings always be fucking. Oh my gosh. Cause I ain't even mean to go into this deck yet, but I gotta know. Cancer is guarded. Eight of Pentacles, they trying to work on themselves and they trying to rebuild themselves. A work in progress. I feel like y'all trying to rebuild and work. So listen again, like I said. Cause for you, I had deeper feelings. We both got confused. We crossed the line. And 
I was convinced it would be alright Now things has changed Nothing's the same And really Okay, this is Hey, okay, okay I'm sorry, y'all Because I have to connect all of this shit together, man I gotta connect this shit together So what I wanna say with this Eight of Pentacles here, this could possibly have been someone that you was working with or that you met at work or you've been working real hard on yourself or possibly trying to make this situation with this person work. But I want to say, because there's something about this crotch right here being on fire and this shit being in reverse. I want to say that someone was dealing with someone that it could have possibly, they found out that they were promiscuous. And it's like they knew from the beginning that they were trying to make this person be something that they were not. And they weren't never really truly happy and satisfied with it because they wanted a bamboo stick and they were settling for an oak tree. And that oak tree wouldn't let them move and do the things that they wanted to. And it's like, I don't know what monster that I created. And and then I'm going to say again, because I had said before in the cancer readings that some of the cancers are not sure if a child is theirs. OK, some of them are not sure if a child is theirs. Cancer is rejecting and regretting going through this experience because they knew from the beginning they were trying to compare apple to oranges. They were trying to compare a bamboo stick to an oak tree. They wanted bamboo sheets. They didn't want no backwoods. They don't smoke backwoods. We straight sheets of funnel. So I feel like cancer changed their lifestyle and made them fucking think that they wanted something that they didn't. Okay? That they didn't. I definitely feel like a child was resulting out of the situation. Okay? There's some communication coming in from possibly the child's mother or the child's father. Because this child wants the commitment. This person wants a commitment because there's this child in the picture. But we can't forget that Cancer is second guessing the creator of this child. Okay, there could have possibly been twins born. Okay, um, they're possibly, they're just like, I, I just, I really do feel like it's something about this, it's just not good. Like, because you, you could read this like, okay, there's a child and there's some com um, um, communication about engagement and marriage and stuff like that. But the stuff that's up here, like cancer is avoiding this. Cancer is sneaking away. Cancer is leaving. They're, they're getting out of the situation before everything falls to fucking hell. You know what I'm saying? Cancer is like, if this shit falls all down on somebody, it ain't falling on me. Like they're getting the fuck out of Dodge into them. They love it and it's a happy ending because I believe that that's what cancer wanted. That's what cancer wanted. They're trying to paint a different picture. There's going to be a very big argument. I feel like there's going to be some truths that are coming out that is going to highly piss cancer off because it's something that can't be hidden anymore. It cannot be hidden anymore. It cannot be hidden anymore with this creator in the reverse. And there's going to be a lot of communication about this. There's going to be a lot of communication because there's someone that's expecting this commitment. But Cancer is like, who's the creator? Who is the creator? I'm regretting this whole experience. And this is a big, like, this might even get down to, I mean, just, I mean, it, it might be a big scene. I, I see, like, a big it's like chaos. Like, I see someone pulling up on somebody, probably the baby in tow, like, <laughs> baby in tow, out there acting like a straight bird. Like, I, I, I really see, I see a whole bunch of drama. But regardless of what it ends up to, it's like, it ends good for cancer because they complete this cycle. It's like, I got this person out of my life. Because cancer didn't want to commit. Cancer wants to just leave all of this shit behind. Because like I said, it's something about... Cancer wasn't ready for that shit. And cancer's been very cold and very distant. And that's why they are like so aggressively, verbally confrontational with this person. Because with this three of coins in reverse, they don't want to work this out. They're like, it doesn't matter any amount of money that you could give me in the world would not make me want to work something out with you. I definitely feel like someone was flirting. Someone was like caught flirting or someone was 
caught doing something in a third party type of exchange. Like I said, fire crotch. Somebody's crotch was on fire, very like burning. And I don't know, it could even be like maybe someone got burnt. Someone gave someone because I see fire on, on, on a crotch. I'm like, honey, that that don't look good. Why is the fire coming out of the cuckoo? You know, it's fire coming out of somebody's cuckoo. A spot coming out of somebody cuckoo and you see it was bodies falling off of this person. It's just like, I feel like there's going to be a lot of chatter about bodies. You know what I'm saying? In DC, bodies mean, oh, this person got bodies. I mean, this person has fucked a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of bodies. And that's why this person is questioning the creator. And it's like, how could I have expected how could I trick myself to believe that this person was going to be something that it wasn't? And then it turned around and showed me exactly what it was. A cheating, dirty ass, fire crotch ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, and, and it's, <laughs> Cancer is so happy that this baby is not theirs because, you know, this person self-sabotaged self. Like, you know, it's like you were trying to keep me or you were trying to, you know... You were trying to pull something on me because I really do feel that. Because this right here, this Knight of Swords in reverse, man, it's going to get ugly. It's going to be ugly and Cancer is going to end up moving. It's like the nightmare is over. You know what I'm saying? Like this person self sabotaged they self. I went through all of these trials and tribulations. These are two nines right back to back. And then you reduced one. You reduced this person. You reduced this situation and you went to the eight and started working on yourself. This person self sabotaged their self. They helped their self help you get rid of the nightmare. Do you understand what I'm saying? And, like, you're extremely guarded with this person. And you see that this card right here is desertous. It's dry. It's just really dry. And I feel like you were very, very dry in communication with this person. You really don't have nothing to say to this person. It's just... It's, it, you know... Now you, you don't have nothing. Like you subtracted this person out of your life. Now you can work on yourself and paint a different picture. Because I feel like whatever people see of you right now because of the situation with this person, you don't like it. And you're trying to create a different picture. Lord Jesus, I ain't even mean to get into that. Lord, help me. Clarify this for me, please. Clarify the, um, the child, the bird, the ring, the knight of swords in reverse, the world, the three of pentacles in reverse, the knight of swords, the nine of wands, and the eight of pentacles. Like Cancer's like, I'm back to work. I'm back to work. I don't know if Cancer has not been working for a minute. I feel like Cancer kind of quit their job or something like that. Cancer, um... Maybe it got let go from their job and like they're back from they're back to work because it was like shit was just desertous and just dry for a minute because Cancer was going through a lot of trials and tribulations. I don't even think that they could have really focused their energy on working or working on their self. It's like they're back to work now. They're back to work now. Great fortune is coming your way, Cancer. That's a blessing. What is this? Yeah, despair. Cancer's not working right now. You got rid of the false person. That false person was in the reverse, but there's still some despair around this, this false person. Sudden wealth. Anything else? Coffin. Hmm. I really feel like, and this was in the reverse, so I'm gonna have to read this shit like this. <sighs> I 
I feel like because now I feel like I'm in despair. I'm sorry. Cause it's just like, because I feel like cancer is in this point in that life. It's just like, this has just been so much. It's just like, I'm just trying to figure this shit out. Like, I'm trying to figure this shit out. Because it's like, how the fuck can cancer be happy? And where is the love at? Like, where is the love and where is the happiness at? But I really, it's, it's like... I want to say that the great fortune that's coming to cancer right now is because, like, this this bout of despair is over. I feel like the only thing that cancer is worried about right now is looking for a new job, you know, and worrying about money. But the biggest problem for them was a situation going on with a tower that needed to come down. It was like a living situation with someone where you were not happy because you were comparing someone to something else and it never really made you happy and you created a monster and you regret this whole experience and it could have been because you were you 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 felt fortunate in the beginning but you knew i feel like deep down inside you try to make this person be out something that it was like you didn't want to see that this was a false person and like this person was cheating like this person this woman had another man in the background like i said this person had bodies falling off of them and like cancer try to act like they ain't see that shit because of the sudden wealth I feel like this person was like buying cancer or something like they were spending a lot of money on cancer because cancer was going through some despair right now they were having money problems they're not working right now for for whatever reason however they met this person cancer felt that i feel like cancer was ever homeless cancer was homeless and looking for work Or ever they're homeless now and looking for work. As it or. No. Both. This situation was a great fortune to them. Because they were going through some struggles when they met this false person. And they thought that this situation was a sudden wealth to, to them. Because this person took care of cancer. Bought them all new clothes. Gave them a house. Possibly gave them a job. Like I said, these people worked with each other so this person could have been a supervisor or something like that i feel like this person helped cancer come up right cancer felt like they were awoken from the dead you know but at the same time now after it's all said and done cancer feels like it's a great fortune that is over they're back where they started where they ain't got no job they ain't got no money and it is kind of frustrating, but at the same time, they're happy. It's a happy ending for them because they're back where they started. They're not with this person anymore. That was cheating on them. This person had a fire cross. This person had bodies falling off of them. There was a baby. He was questioning the creator. Regretted the whole experience. The sudden wealth that came out of this situation was, I feel like, it awoken cancer from a situation where they were just dead inside. And I feel like cancer is alive now because I feel like the situation kind of shook cancer to their core a little bit. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like now they're able to paint a different picture and it's like they have control over their life now and they're just happy they're loving life they avoided a disaster because the tower in the reverse is someone that avoided something avoided a great disaster being stuck with someone that you were comparing to someone else and you were never truly happy and you was about to get trapped in a commitment with a baby that wasn't sure clearly you understand but there, it, there, there was gossip and rumors. There was communication coming around. There was communication coming around about this shit, about this false person. And this, and this person that they were dealing with were probably dealing with people for certain wealth too. Like they were probably dealing with people for money as well. Because this false person right next to the to the sudden wealth card, the devil. 
Casey was dealing with the motherfucking devil. Oh my god. Look. Traitor. The seven of fucking I mean the nine of swords. Uh, the ten of swords. Cancer feels backstabbed and betrayed by the devil. This person was a, was a traitor. This person that Cancer was dealing with. The king of cups in reverse. Hierophant. Let it go. Clarify the hierophant. Someone most definite. <gasps> Judgment. Judgment. The king of coins. It's a lot of men on here. It's a lot of men on here. It's a lot of men on here. You got Ramsey, which is the devil. You got Jon Snow. You got my man the spider. You got the you got the um the Night King. And you got that uh man little finger on here. This bitch was rolling. <laughs> rolling in the deep. So I got me shut the fuck up. Somebody had their boots on. They was rolling like shit. Listen to that. Let me tell you something. Casey was dealing with the motherfucking devil. This motherfucker would do anything. Would feed this and would give you anything that your heart desired to keep you bound and locked and tied to them. Mm -hmm. But all the, all the time behind your back, they were stabbing you behind your back while they were feeding you your own misery. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, I feel like cancer met their match here. Like, I just like, cancer, this person, this person, not only did they cheat on cancer, it was the mental manipulation. It was the mental vindictiveness. It was... The violence. I feel like there's some violence. It, I feel like Cancer was almost scared of this person. Like, all of these swords and just like, I don't know, like maybe Cancer is scared. Like, if they leave this person, would try to stab them or would try to do some bodily harm to them or. I don't know, like, I just, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Cancer don't know how to love in a commitment. With this King of, with this king of Cups in the reverse, Cancer don't even, Cancer don't know how to be a loving person in this commitment. I feel like there's too many men in this environment. Like, there was too many men in the environment. Like, this person had too many men. It was too many men. And even though this person wanted commitment, I don't think that cancer could have given it to them because with that hierophant, it, it, it was like cancer was like uh, uh, morally judging them. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like this is not my best reading right now because I don't know if, I make, if any of this is making sense. Like, I am just like literally like what the fuck here mo it's just like what the fuck here it's moral it's like moral judgment like you're the devil like you're mentally abusive you're physically abusive you're controlling i don't know how to love you in this situation you got too many men around you for me to like trust you and morally, I'm judging you. Like, morally, I'm judging you. You know what I'm saying? And I told you that that jack of, um, what was it, space up there was is someone that's cold and, and, and things of that nature. So, I feel like cancer has been judging this person harshly, morally. This person has too many bodies. I don't know... With this devil energy, I don't know if they did, like, and I did not say that they might have been fucking with somebody for money. I don't know if this woman was fucking with someone for, for money or if the woman thinks that cancer was just fucking with them for money. But it was pure mental manipulation. 
it was mental manipulation and then it's like when the person want to get away it was like threats of violence look arguments threats of violence physical violence up here someone wanting to move the world they're not wanting to collaborate this is a fucking nightmare <laughs> this situation is a nightmare cancer is guarded and they're trying to reduce this person to paint a new picture Hmm. The king of coins. Cancer is trying to get their money together by herself. It's like cancer. I feel like this judgment card. I feel like these three cards right here also have a separate meaning to their self where it's like I feel like morally cancer is trying to redeem their self to God and show their self and show God that they can do it on their own. Like they don't need nobody to take care of them. And I really do feel like over here, these type of people that they've been dealing with, these devils, this traitorous, like, and them having an inability to love, I feel like they're trying to, they're trying to, like, part the sea. You see what I'm saying? Because I feel like cancer has come to a state of consciousness. They're tired of being in this despair. They're tired of dealing with false persons. They're morally judging them harshly and they're morally judging themselves harshly because it's like, what have I become? This is what I want to be, but I'm like the Night King or something like the Night King. Like, I don't <laughs> give me. Oh, give me the tea. Please give me the tea because I'm starting to get a fucking headache, man. I, I don't I don't even know if I'm making sense. You guys, I feel like. I have never had a, done a reading where I'm like, oh, no, that reading was horrible. I really do feel like this reading is horrible. Like, y'all please let me know if I'm making any sense, if I'm resonating. Like, oh, my God. And if I'm just, like, trash right now, I'm, like, so sorry. It's saying the purse. Pay attention to your finances. Cancer is paying attention to their money right now. Like I told you, I feel like Cancer is trying to redeem themselves. And like I told you, this despair card says no hiring. I feel like this person... Met, cancer met this person in despair and they left this person in despair but it was a happy ending like cancer was glad to get away from this person because they were the devil they were the devil broken bridge unsuccessful outcome to a problem there's most definitely a broken bridge let me see something just fell down there on the floor where did that go okay coins Money will be coming to you. Horseshoe. Good luck. That's good. What is this? Ram. Stubborn and an aggressive person. Yeah. So, pay attention to your finances, Cancer, because I feel like someone that you have a broken bridge with might be coming after your coins. This is a stubborn and aggressive person. Like I said, Ramsey, the devil. I told you this is a controlling, abusive, manipulative person. This person used scare tactics as a way of manipulation and control. I feel like that's been the main part of Cancer's Despair because this person held over Cancer the coins. I felt like Cancer was scared to leave this person because of the coins. You understand? But what this is trying to tell you is to pay attention to your money. Because you're asking for redemption from God. You're judging yourself and you're asking God for forgiveness. And you're judging the people that are around you because you're being more focused on who you're giving your time to now. And now you're focusing on your money and good luck is coming to you. But just keep in mind that there's a stubborn and aggressive person that's around you. And I feel like they know the only way to break you is your coins, is money. Box, you will be receiving a gift. Bird flying, there's news on the way. Beetle, good fortune. Hidden secrets are going to come out. Hidden secrets can harm you. Candle, but you will, show, you will be shown the way. I told y'all fucking secrets is coming out about whoever the fuck y'all dealing with with this damn baby. Whoever this person that y'all dealing with with this child that is expecting news from me with them birds. 
And that's another thing with them birds on there like this. You feel, you feel like this person is a fucking bird. You want to have a baby with a bird that's wanting commitment from you. And you avoiding that shit. I don't know why I said that from the beginning. But yeah, you had a baby with a bird ass motherfucker who's expecting commitment from you. And you avoiding that shit. You will be given a gift. Do you understand? A gift. You will receive a gift. Some news is on the way. Could it be the results? <laughs> Could it be the results? Could it be the results? <laughs> You're going to feel like whatever this news is, is good fortune. You're going to be a bird flying far, far, far away. Because whatever hidden secrets that was being hidden from your brain, someone was hiding something from you, Cancer. Hidden secrets can't harm you. This person tried to hide something from you, Cancer. That's why this person tried to control your, your brain. Like This person tried to control you, but you will be shown the way. And another thing, I feel like, Cancer, when you find out whatever these secrets is, don't let it, t I feel like you let shit sink in your brain too much where it fuck you up so bad. You know what I'm saying? And I don't really want you to do that, like, Cancer, don't do that. But there's some fucking secrets coming out ever about the Cancer or about the person that's dealing with the Cancer. But it's saying hidden secrets can harm you. And I feel like it'll, it'll harm your thinking process because right now it's like you are focusing on your coins and you're trying to focus on better positive things. You're trying to get yourself morally grounded. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like you are going to a hierophant or like maybe a spiritual teacher or something that's teaching you a better way. That is teaching you a new foundation, a better way of thinking, a, a more whole listed more way of thinking and being being a good man being a king of coins is being a good man it's being a stable provider you know a good father throat chakra you getting yourself ready to goddamn speak you getting yourself ready to speak your truth about something in regards to your heart it's like you should have changed your focus a long time ago because your heart was never balanced. But it was you were just going. Those are two fives. Those are challenges like challenge, change. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like and, it, and number five also represents travel, travel. Like you guys wanted to move away a long time ago, but I feel like you were bound and tied and forced in abuse. Why do I feel like it was a cancer man that was possibly going through some physical abuse and don't nobody know about it? I feel like there was like some level of shame there. Like win or lose. Win or lose. This just came out in the Gemini's reading. The sword also represents mental thoughts. Find balance. Just breathe. Wow, baby, you went through a lot, Cancer. This was a lot for you guys. You guys got spared from some wicked shit. I feel like y'all got spared from a very wicked and evil person. I'm seeing a lot of abuse. A lot of abuse. A lot of abuse. A lot of sex. The devil represents sex addictions. It's, it's You can't put it above someone with the devil card there. And the ten of swords with the traitor. And then the false person next to financial wealth. Like You can't put it past someone that's having sex for money. And that could be a man too. Like if the cancer got into the situation with the woman because they needed a place to stay. And you're using dick for payment. You're having sex for money. You are using your body for material wealth. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's the same difference. But I feel like because of this level of control, cancer was scared to speak and stand up for their self. And right now their heart has just been so all focused because of the messages and the information and the secrets and, and the news that they've been getting from these birds. Like, it's been a lot of pigeons dropping off information to them. And they're like, win or lose. 
like I'm going to win at all costs like win or lose I'm going to fight this battle and I'm going to get my mind together like I feel like cancer is trying to release this that's another fucking five three fives no bitch oh no three fives my nigga back to back throat chakra changing your focus win or lose finding balance and then it's just saying to just breathe i feel like cancer been having like some type of anxiety attack i feel like having to speak and stand up to this person gives cancer a lot of um anxiety it gives them a lot of anxiety god like i feel like cancer is really scared of this person they realize they can't keep sitting on their ass like daydreaming and trying to make decisions about this situation they gotta and number seven represents withdrawal like they gotta do what they gotta do and get away from this person why do i feel like cancer is scared of whoever they're dating oh my god my dear what the fuck have you gotten yourself into romance has hit cancer again that's why that love is up there cupid arrow strikes Give me guidance and love for cancer, please. That's, come on, baby. Are you serious right now? Ooh, new beginnings in love, cancer. You a lone bird now. You done got away from this shit, though. I'm, I'm proud of you. Like, well, I feel like tears about to well up in my eyes, but this ain't me. I ain't emotional about shit. This ain't me. Why do I feel like cancer crying? Are one of y'all crying? No, because I really feel like I want to cry. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. God, why do I feel crying? It says wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take, take its course. Y'all are waiting for somebody or something. Power. It says you instinctively know what's right for you. And you have the power to say yes or no or walk away at any time. Oh, and you see how that snake is wrapped around them? Y'all been wrapped up with a fucking snake, y'all. Oh, my God. Balance. It says, love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember, love is the greatest healer. Time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. And manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. Alright, that was a lot. God had a lot to speak to you guys. And I don't feel the crying anymore. I don't feel the crying anymore. Okay. I feel like y'all like that message. Okay. I felt like crying. I felt crying. This has been a lot for cancer. I feel like cancer, as hard as it is, I feel like they are so fucking glad it's over. Like. This crown chakra in the middle, they have so much fucking understanding about why they had to go through that experience. Like, I feel like they understand why God put them through this experience. God scared the shit out of them. Like, they scared the shit out of them. And it also taught cancer. Number one, speak up when you love somebody. When you love somebody, don't fucking hold your tongue. Say that shit loud. Show that shit and mean it. Because some, some, someone could be here today and gone tomorrow. And you could regret not saying and showing someone how much you love them. Because I feel like you got wrapped up in this snake because you didn't express your love. And that's why I was like, what the fuck did I create? Like... I don't think that you guys realize what y'all created getting involved with this devil with this snake but throughout everything that you just went through your heart is beating again like i said 
you've been revived from the dead. I feel like your heart hasn't really beat, 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 beat. Like, I felt like you guys were around love. You had love, but you probably didn't appreciate it. You didn't understand what was in front of you. And and after this traumatic experience where you're taking your power back, because like I said, you were wrapped up in a snake. And again, it says you instinctively know what is right for you. And you have the power to walk away or to say no at any time. So you don't have to be wrapped up with this snake. You can take back your power at any time. But I feel like you guys have been waiting for somebody. You guys have been waiting for somebody. And Spirit is telling you to wait. To don't rush into it. To allow nature to take its course. Because you have new beginnings. A new adventure awaits embrace it and live your dreams passionately that's why that throat chakra is so important it's so important in this experience you guys let me go here do one more of this spread certify this love for the cancer we got two more spreads and then we are out of here and again i am so sorry if this video came out a mess i'm really hoping that you guys um, cause I was like standing up on my chair, like trying to understand what the fuck I'm getting here. I'm just like, I don't want to say this. You know what I'm saying? Cause I don't want people to come being mean, but I got to say what the fuck is on the table. I look, I'm not here to, 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 to send, give people fairy tales and lies. I'm here to give people the truth. The page is swords. Cancer has been, cancer has been. Thinking long and hard, the magician and manifesting, the sun, the ace of pentacles, the knight of wands, the seven of wands. Cares has been investigating. They've been taking their power back. They've been thinking long and hard. I want this new beginning. I want this. How do I make it appear in my head? Like, they're just very calculated. And they're researching something. Oh. They're researching manifestation and growth. I feel like cancer realized that they've been inse insecure. Yeah, maybe they have been insecure. Cancers have been insecure for a long time. I feel like this has something to do with childhood. This has something to do with something that stems from childhood. When they were a kid. Something. Something that they felt insecure about. And I feel like. That's why they chased after certain people and they end up getting themselves so wrapped up in all these toxic situations. I feel like whoever this cancer is that I am connecting with in this reading, I feel like they all like they like toxic people and they liked it. And just for some reason, like they just grew up. This situation helped them grow up. And I feel like this cancer has been like researching and it been reading about um Taking your power back. What's that book? Isn't there a book named Power? It's a book called Power. I feel like they're reading that. They're reading like the art of manifestation. Um, the secret. Like they're reading stuff like that. Intellectual. You know what I'm saying? How to like. Make things levitate with their mind or something like it's something about their mind and the power of their mind because it's like the person that they were dealing with this devil. They had such mind control over them. It's like how the fuck did these motherfuckers do that because I will never allow someone to have power over me like that. You know what I'm saying? I hold the power. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I feel like whoever they're dealing with picked at their insecurity. This situation is something picked at their insecurity.
the insecurity is like the inability to like I feel like cancer is good at starting shit but they're not good at finishing it clearly right here with this ace of pentacles in the reverse and this king of wands in reverse they're good thing at initiating passionate adventures but they're not good at making them grow like it says right here illumination and growth it's something that happened to them when they were younger that stunted their ability to bring things into fruition to make things manifest and grow and stunted their ability to grow as a man or as a woman where they're like stuck in a childlike state or something like this and what is this the seven of wands in reverse it was something that happened to them in a the child where there was always a feeling of insecurity where they kind of always had to like show up someone or compete or defend or their self or show that they're better or, or something like that. And it, and it was like, number one, why do I have these insecurities? I feel like cancer is addressing certain things. That happened to them in their childhood. Because they're trying to take back their childhood. From whatever happened to them in their youth. That stunted their growth. Where they cannot plant a seed. And it can grow to fruition. Where they can have a full harvest. Why are they able to start things passionately. But then as soon as it fizzles out. They're just out. And they're not able to commit. Like why do I feel so defensive. Why am I so cold with people. And you know. I just feel like they're they're tired of this fight. They're tired of this fight. And with the seven of wands, they cause a lot of confusion for their self in their life. And it has a lot to do with their childhood and their researching and trying to figure out why. How the fuck did I get myself in this situation? How did I relinquish myself powerless to this devil? Like you know what I'm saying? Like it, 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 and mainly it was because there's an insecurity in cancer where they felt like they were like not able to take care of themselves. That's why this spread ended out with the King of Coins. Last spread, and we're getting the fuck out of here because I know that this was a fucking lie. Give me information about this love and this happy ending. I just feel like right now cancer is not they want to make a passionate gesture towards somebody but they're just being awoken from the dead their heart is just starting to tick and beat I feel like they are having to get used to getting balanced to having a beating heart again and like they said manifesting miracles your dreams will soon become reality trust your heart and continue to follow his guidance. That's the thing. Cancer is scared to trust their heart. They're scared they're going to be hurt. You know, they're scared they're going to be rejected. There's insecurity there that from the childhood. And that's the thing that they have been doing this self-help study and reading. Like, I feel like they've been reading. I feel like Cancer has been spending a lot of alone time. A lot of alone time. Thinking. What is this? A promise. Cancer has been the diamond. They might be so. Oh, the diamond hidden, the veil revealing. It's like Cancer is promising to unveil all of that shit that's hidden deep inside of them. You see these are red eyes and then they're going from a darkness to the light. And they're making this promise to their self. They're making this like 999. Profound lessons are at hand. Completions of cycles of near. Bones indestructible. Cancer knows that they're not indestructible now. That they can't just do any fucking thing that they want to do. It's 
it's like they always just were reckless just following just falling in any hole or anything that just seemed a mystery and I feel like where that life is going forward it's like a big mystery for them like they don't know where things is going five 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 wisdom the wake up call time to move on in a new direction I want to say um for some of the cancers they keep traveling in this hole in this mystery hole thinking that they're going to get just a different result but I feel like y'all got to stop taking risk and love. You know what I'm saying? Curiosity killed the cat. Curiosity killed the cat. And I feel like curiosity, your curiosity led you down a, a hole of, of mystery that led you to a lot of false loves. A lot of false loves. 777. Seven, seven. What is it saying? A rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. Yeah. What is it saying? Chills. Confirmation. So, what I'm getting to wrap this whole reading up, because now I'm burnt out and I'm tired and I feel like I've been doing this reading for two hours now. Um, cancer has been promising itself to dig deep and lift that veil up and look deep inside and dig out that darkness and bring that shit it's like it's like it's someone that they don't want to look in the eyes because of this darkness they have so much hidden shit in their childhood in their present it's so much hidden shit and it's like Cancer is working through these insecurities, working through all of this hidden dark shit that's in them because, like, they really want to fix their life and they want to be able to look at people and show them their eyes and and, and they want to be able to look people in their face. Like I said, morally judged, like, they are trying to morally clean their self up. You know... They want to come back to someone a diamond. They don't want to come back to someone with nothing hidden. They want to be able to reveal their soul to them and be clean and clear. You know, they're going from the darkness into the light. And they made a promise to, to their self. You know what I'm saying? To their self. Because they just went through some hard ass shit. They just went through some profound. It says profound lessons are at hand. Completions and cycles. They just learned a serious lesson. They just learned a serious lesson. Look, there, there go y'all song. Shit can't be washed away, not even in that Florida water. You're not indestructible. This lesson that cancer learned is you go digging in the trash, you're going to get trash. You understand what I'm saying? You go digging in the trash, being curious, going jumping your ass down that rabbit hole. You going to get what you go and bargain for. Like That's what you went through all of this shit for because you thought that you was indestructible. You thought that somebody couldn't break you. Yeah, your ass got broken in all right. <laughs> and you happy as hell that you finally have an ending to this situation and that you are able to love and be loved again. Like you are extremely happy about this. I, I mean, this seems this seems horrible, but I mean, like you're extremely happy about this. You have time to think again. Wisdom, wake up call, a time to move in, in a new direction. It took you a long time to even understand what these number synchronicities meant. You were holding on for a long time to a false love. I feel like you just wanted something to hold on to. Because of this insecurity, it's something in your... You have like an abandonment issues. You have something. It still can't be washed away even with that Florida water. Like, and, and, and I feel like that's what you're saying. And I do feel like you're going to some type of like priest or some type of spiritual advisor. You're talking to somebody about what happened to you. It's either something happened to you in your childhood 
or like early on in your life in dating or something, something happened to you that fucked you up. And you are just like hearting a lot of hidden dark shit about yourself. 777, rapid soul development that comes from challenging times. I feel like the only way that you learn is from like literally scraping your feet on hot coals for you to realize that it's hot. Like, and I really feel like God didn't want to put you through this, but this was the only way that you were going to learn. Like, I hope that y'all not about to have no baby by no devil by Ramsey. Like, I really hope not. And then you know that bird means twins too. Double trouble. Chilling. Confirmation. So this has been y'all's reading. Y'all please help me make this make sense. Because now I got a damn headache y'all. And this I feel like I've been doing this reading for two hours y'all. Oh my dear Jesus. But can't say I love y'all like good gracious why y'all always put me through so much Lord Jesus I'm gone y'all back <laughs>